Uh, my name is Michael Glenmore. Uh, a lot of my friends call me Rooster. I had dirt bikes uh, all through like uh, junior high school and high school. Maybe, maybe even some, maybe elementary school a little bit. I don't know, but uh, yeah, it was kind of you know that's what we did. We didn't do our homework. We we rode dirt bikes. <laughs> Do you think um, do you think you might be an adrenaline junkie? Do you think the bike's part of that, or do you think it's more? Oh, I know I am. Oh, okay. yeah, 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 no question. I mean, uh, you know, I mean, it's it, my my wife bought me a patch that said more balls than brains, and I mean, I, I guess that's probably true. <laughs> This group of guys, and they were all riding uh, baggers, and uh, you know they wanted me to get a bike, and I, I go, oh, you know, I might get a bike, but I'm gonna get a chopper. And they're like, no, you don't want a chopper. I'm like, no, I'm pretty sure I do. They go, once you ride a bagger, you'll never want to get on a chopper. And you know, I I don't know why, but I went out and I bought a freaking bagger, and I, I rode it around for like a couple years, and I really just still wanted a chopper, you know. Uh, so when I met Vince, we were talking about, you know, uh, building me a bike, and uh, uh, I saw this tank on Facebook, and I couldn't believe it. It was a Giottano Soul in Italy, Soul Art Design, painted, you know, what is now kind of a famous tank. It's a zombie riding a two-headed rooster, and uh, I just saw that, I go, man, that is not what I wanted to, you know, have built or build, um, but I got to own that tank. And so I bought the tank, and then I walked into Vince's shop here, I set it on the counter, he looks at it, he goes, let's build a chopper. I saw some bikes that he built, and I kind of liked what he was doing. He's been building bikes since like the 70s, and um, a lot of my buddies that, that are great builders, everybody has their own style, you know, and what they're doing. Um, and, you know, maybe my style isn't what, you know, Vince does 100%, because I've seen him build some other bikes, and, and they're more bobbers. I think we've gone, you know, with, with my bikes, we're, we're doing a little longer front ends on them. Um, and uh, uh, he, he doesn't have a problem with it, and, and they, they turn out good. That's how that came about, and uh, it was so much fun, you know, working with Vince on, you know, that design and, and that bike, and, uh, you know, eventually getting it all put together, and now all I want to do is just, uh, you know, build bikes, learn as much from Vince as I can, um, and, uh, you know, just having a good time doing that. Now, I mean, I ride my chopper a lot. We go everywhere. I've been down to Mexico, uh, Nevada, Arizona. To be honest with you, I didn't know there was any other way to really to, to ride bikes except for go on these great trips, epic trips, you know. Um, whether it's, you know, the El Diablo run down to, to uh, San Felipe, Mexico would ride across to Ensenada and then back up to California, you know, you're doing the weekend 1,200 miles on a rigid chopper, um, and it was awesome, you know. You break down sometimes, but man, I mean, I, I ride with a group of guys that they're all pretty knowledgeable, they all carry, you know, some different tools, and we get on the side of the road, that bike gets fixed, you know, and it's, it's, it's kind of fun. But I, you know, I mean, the, the chopper thing is uh, is awesome, and I, I man, I, I, I really spend a lot of time riding bikes, and uh, uh, you know, you kind of forget about everything else when you're out, uh, you know, riding choppers.